Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in return with having. It might be hard to look at a face like mine, I can see that, because it's been a hot day and a lot of rain, and the heavens have clapped. If you didn't hear those thunderbolts today, if you didn't see the lightning come your way, then you weren't paying attention to my sky. But in the world of men, we have a lot of people who like to play God. What I mean by playing God is that they want to stand in their way and interfere with people's rights every day. When politicians do this, they lose constituents. When apprentices do this, they lose politicians. In life, we have to believe what we are. It is not true. In life, we have to believe that we can become something better than where we are. In order to do that, we must learn new things. We can go to different YouTube channels, even mine, and learn new vocabulary, learn new concepts, learn new things. But if you're trying to become an expert in something, then you study a bunch of people. You learn from a handful of people, or you focus on the people who are truly making a living based on something that's real, not based on something that's fake. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and a learning classroom is always something that can make a living today. At the same time, certain type of unique situations, certain types of unique products and services can make a living. But right now, during a time of COVID and pandemic or epidemic, we have to be careful because in life, we have to know what's right. Now you can see I'm doing this very informally. I'm not sitting in my studio anymore. I'm not using green screen anymore. I'm not using marvelous video editing techniques. I'm not even putting my placard at the end of my video anymore. Part of the reason is that I'm not working on my home laptop, which is related to my studio. Someone black screened it, and I believe that it will be put back to its appropriate station. Also, I'm not carrying my CPU, something I brand new that I bought a few months before I left, and it should still be there. But what I know is that we don't have buyer beware situations in love. What we have is the Lord God above saying, that one's for you, that one don't touch. That one might be fun for a while, but he is not much. You see, you have to know what God wants for your life. And if you're picking someone who is not equally yoked to you, meaning in heart, mind, and soul for God, then you're probably not going to survive it. You're probably not going to thrive with it, and you're probably going to become some sort of a debilitated person in it. You see, financial abuse is something that a lot of men do to their wives. They say, don't worry, honey, you don't have to work. And then eventually it becomes a, I'll give you money if you give me sex, or give me sex for money kind of attitude. And that's not what God is about. That's not what the one particular steamy hot chapter in the Bible is about. And openly you know what I'm talking about if you've read the entire Bible. But the truth is in life and in love, God is picking people for you that are just right for you. So when you're sitting there going, not now today, and God is saying, hey, go, go do this, go be this, go help this, go serve this. All the certain, certain situations that shows that you're of God, and you just say, gosh, God, don't feel like it. You might have a problem. You might get God pissed off. We might end up with a pandemic or an epidemic like we have. And when you harm people that are fully submitted to God, you better believe Jesus Christ retaliates. Because for him, loyalty is everything. 